What's up, Believe Nation? Happy weekend. I'm excited because I'm launching a new series to talk to you about how to get 1 million YouTube subscribers. At least, I think I'm gonna launch a new series. Today's the first day, and I want your feedback to see if I should continue this series or not. So, early this year I hit half a million subscribers. It was an awesome uh, day. We had a live hangout as I crossed the mark. It was a ton of fun and energy. 998, 998, 999, five, oh, you trollers. 998, come on, let's go, guys. Ah, Preston. Guys, 500K, that was intense. I lost my voice. I have more interviews tonight. This is crazy. And I'm hoping that this year I will hit 1 million. At least that is my goal. I am on the path to do it. And I thought I would share once a month my strategies, answer your questions, help you build a full-time income off of YouTube, get your channel to even bigger heights, reaching more people, having a bigger impact, and as well as sharing my tips and strategies, I would dissect my growth versus another YouTube creator and try to understand where the differences lie and give you the strategies and how to grow quickly. So today I'm gonna to look at myself versus Eric Thomas, ET, the hip hop preacher, and let's see how we're doing. So I love using a tool called Social Blade. You can check it out, socialblade.com, to compare how I'm doing versus other creators and look at my growth daily. It can be uh, addictive to see how well you're doing. And here is my graph versus Eric for the past year. And let me be clear here. This is what was interesting for me. I love Eric. You know, it would be an honor to have him on my channel. It would be an honor to share the stage with him at an event. I consider Eric to be one of the greatest speakers of our generation. You know, he's the new Les Brown for me, and I, I love Les Brown. Young Les Brown was, is the guy that I look up to most in the speaking industry. And so I think Eric is a way better speaker than I am uh, at this moment, and uh, I have a huge amount of respect for what he's doing and the lives that he has changed. But if you look at our YouTube channels, you'll see that my videos are crossing his in terms of subscribers, and we recently just passed him. And so what's the difference? Right, so looking at our Social Blade results, you see my line going up, and you see his line still going up, but not as fast. Let's look at each number. If we look at the bottom part there, I'm at 569,000 subscribers, he's at 555. Okay, that's, that's where we're at when I'm filming this video. Our video views are kind of close. I'm at 74 and a bit. He's at 58 and a bit, so not that big a difference between where we're ranking. And our users were created about the same time. I was 2008 in November, he was 2008 in December. But the big number that separates me from Eric is the number of videos uploaded. I'm at 3.7 thousand videos uploaded on my channel and he's at 553. And if we back up, if we back up and think about what I just said about Eric being a great speaker and one of the one of the best speakers of our generation, how much respect that I have for him, why am I able to pass? It's because I'm uploading more content. And that's part of the YouTube algorithm. They want to see regular, consistent content. Now, you don't wanna just throw up crap, right? You don't wanna just throw anything up there just to get it, because people have to watch it, right? You have to put something out there that is good enough that people wanna watch. But I'm also believing that the quantity leads to the quality. That by practicing, by making more videos, by honing your skills, you'll get better and better and better and better and better each time. And so, while I only have three point, only, have 3.7 thousand videos uploaded, I've done another 500 to 1,000 that have never made it public. Just from me practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. And so it helps me get better, but for the YouTube algorithm, they wanna see lots of content. So I would be looking at at least once a week. I think once a week now is, is not even the bare minimum anymore. I mean, they wanna really see you get to multiple times per week, if not daily content. Now, I'm a bit of a strange animal. We're at three videos at least per day, and that's what's helping drive a lot of the growth. And so I think a lot of people pay attention to the wrong metric, where they're looking at how many views per video, and it's the wrong metric to look at because what I care about is overall views and overall subscriber growth. I care about how many people is the message reaching net, not on a per video basis, and you should too. And so if you're comparing how many views I get on an average video compared to somebody who's uploading once a month, I might lose that game, and I'm okay with it. That's a small game, that's the nothing game. Go to Social Blade and compare my channel to them, and you'll see massive growth 
for against almost anybody on views and on subscribers because of the upload frequency. And so I would challenge you, if you're posting once a month on your YouTube channel, to get it to at least once a week. And if you're once a week, to get it to at least a couple times a week. And if you're a couple times a week, daily. Like if this is important to you, if this is something that you really wanna do, you have to find the time for it. And you have to post daily good content. Good. Something you're proud of not just mailing it in. It's gotta be good, solid stuff. And then you'll be able to beat people, beat people, cross over them, have more impact, growth, subscribers, views, than people who may be better than you because you understand the algorithm more than they do. So that's my tip of the day, of the week, of the month, I guess. And that's how we've been able to pass Eric on his channel. And if he were to post daily content as well, he would start crushing me. So I hope that doesn't happen. But I do think of it as a gift of all the content that he does create. So here's my question. I'm thinking about creating this series. I wanna continue it and I want it to be interactive and I wanna answer your questions as well. And so if I'm doing a part two next month, what I wanna know is, what are some of your key YouTube questions, concerns about growing a channel, about turning into a business, anything you have, I want you to leave that question in the comment below and maybe next month, if I do this again, I'll answer your question to help give you some more guidance, advice, and uh, help you have a bigger impact on YouTube. So let me know what you guys think of the series. Should we keep it? Should we kill it and do something else? Leave in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon.